my house that is a complete unorganized disaster. I like to call it my closet room. It's where I keep all my clothes. It's also where I work. It's also where I keep all of Etsy clothes that I sell. And I don't know what to do with it. I'm lucky enough to be able to turn this room into basically my closet, but there is a problem with this room. It is way too long. It's like a oddly shaped room and it has two doors going into the one room. It's really weird. I think it used to be two rooms. It's always been a room. I'm not sure how to decorate and organize and set up because it's such a weird shape and so odd. And I kind of want one side to be a guest bedroom, the other side to be my work and closet area. So I'm gonna make this a little series where I transform this room into basically my dream work, office, closet, guest bedroom room. Let's do that. Let's go through my closet. Now, the first step that we must do is actually go through my closet, but what we're gonna do is empty out all the clothes because that's what all YouTubers do, so that's what I must do. No, but in reality, it really does help taking everything out of the closet and then putting back the stuff that you only want. So that's what I'm gonna do. In all reality though, um, I have to take everything out of my closet because I'm going to completely transform the insides of this closet. It's not gonna be the same old closet on the inside. It's gonna be something new. It's gonna be something magical. Just you wait and see. So I actually first went through every single clothing piece I had and talked about whether I wanted to keep it or not, but you couldn't really see the items all that well and I didn't really like how it was turning out. So I tried on every single item and I decided whether I wanted to keep or sell my clothes either to like Buffalo Exchange or on my Etsy. A few items I did donate and the items I am donating are not vintage so I can't really sell them. Also, the first few clips of me trying on clothes, you may be confused, like, wait, what background is she using? It is my closet. I completely redid my closet when I decided to try on all these clothes. So it's kind of a little spoiler there, I guess. Um, I actually did this last minute. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't like how I filmed it. So I decided to completely change it and try on every single item after the fact that I redid my room and so some of the clips are a little confusing so there you go that's an explanation of it all right good day bye just kidding I'm still here I am happy to say that all my clothes are secondhand or thrifted I have a few items that I did buy new but I bought them new like a really long time ago like in middle school and high school but I've had them for a really long time and I only really kept them for sentimental value and I don't ever really wear them so I decided to finally get rid of them because they're just taking up room in my closet I know I have a lot of clothes all right, I do. But like I said, they're all thrifted. A majority of all my clothes are also vintage and I just really enjoy collecting vintage items and looking them up and seeing what era they're from, how old they are. That's the same thing, Lee. And finding pieces that are on my bucket list of things to find at the thrift store. All right, I'm done rambling about this segment of the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Have fun. Catch you later, kiddo. I even went through every single one of my shoes, but I already have a video where I show a majority of my shoes, mainly just the thrifted ones which is basically all of my shoes. I have some newer shoes, but I'll have a link for that video in the description box though. If you want to check it out, you don't have to, it's not mandatory. I told my dad exactly how I wanted my closet to be and he helped me build it. I wanted shelves on one side for shoes and other items. And then I wanted a regular closet, but with like two racks instead of one going across. So then I have more room for clothes. And then I also took out the metal framing for the sliding closet doors because I'm going to get rid of those because I don't necessarily like them and I have a different idea of what I want to do. So those gotta go. Then I prepped the inside of the closet. I basically scraped, sanded, and then filled in all the holes. So I spackled it just to prepare it so it's a nice smooth finish for when I paint. Then voila! 
it's all done except for now I got to move on to the shelves and for the shelves I don't want to just paint them white because that's boring so I decided to sand and stain them so I picked a nice little dark mahogany I, I think it's mahogany kind of stain and then I also varnished it afterwards so then it protects the wood and makes it a little bit more shiny now the inside of the closets are all nice and finished and now what I need to do is just go on to filling the closet up and also hanging some curtains so let's get to that And it's done. I honestly really love this closet. I love that I have a place for my shoes. I love how I have a place to hang all my clothes. I have enough space and I feel like it's perfect and just enough room for me. And I like that I don't have the sliding mirror doors anymore because honestly they were breaking and they were a pain in the butt. <laughs> So that is my whole entire closet transformation. Not really. I have to redo the rest of my closet room, but this is just my actual closet portion of the video. I still need to do the rest of the room because I want to redo the whole closet room, but I hope you guys enjoyed my closet transformation and how I completely turned one of those mirror sliding door closet things into something a bit cuter and going on this journey with me. Okay? Cool. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I can do it. I believe in myself. Huzzah! Why are there so many fucking cars driving by? Oh my god. Mm -hmm.